today we're doing a patrolling lane that involves a platoon of cadets, about 40, and we're just out here practicing leadership and getting the cadets used to the environment, um, different weapons we use, and just getting used to the terrain. So here at school, we go through and get a bachelor's degree in four years, and uh, we learn the ins and outs of being a junior officer in the Army, so that after we get our degree, we can commission. I love training in this area because it's, a, it's just a big, wide open space. We got just varied amounts of terrain we can use to test the cadets' abilities, their leadership, and all that stuff. It's just, it's really nice for us to have this in our own backyard. You know, some schools have to travel 30 minutes, an hour, just to get to somewhere like this. And if you know Matoka, you know there's hills, you know there's trees. It's a good place to learn uh, different tactics in a real setting. Compared to a couple other uh, army forts, uh, it's just as good. What's great about training here is it gives us the opportunity to actually physically practice tactics and tactical leadership. I mean, it really gives our young cadets the ability to get out there and really experience how to lead in an open situation rather than the classroom. A lot of hills, a lot of draws, a lot of streams. It's trying to do orienteering, um, and just moving around with your unit. Very rewarding experience. It's really a great environment to work in, especially considering the amount of terrain. It's quite dynamic, and the scenery really is beautiful. And the trails are pretty long. I have to admit, I haven't run them all yet. There's a lot of squirrels, um, plenty of different varieties of trees. Um, I've seen a lot of snakes. A few snakes, um, lots and lots of spiders. I've seen deer before. A few deer. Uh, more deer than I can count. <laughs> uh, sometimes we'll see an occasional deer here or there, maybe some birds, um, but they tend to leave us alone. We leave them alone. It's, it's not really ever a problem. Mm -hmm.